Finally got the freight. MT2001 I guess it's like an S whatever you call it I'm not taking that out until I fully build a whole packaging came with a bunch of stuff right right before New Year's so gotta build it and now I gotta unbox all these things it was a little mission to bring this in the house, but we got it in. All right, let's open them up. Got hoops. All right, I'm gonna put this down and get these out right now. All right, so empty. Got everything out here. I would have showed the process, but I didn't really want to break anything in the process of taking everything out. Got the hoops, which I'll open later. Don't know what that bracket is. The wheels, the cat hoops, cat hoops, and the bigger hoops. And I came with the little maintenance box. Call it the sash, I believe. Hoop. So this one was loose in the crate. Um, let me get the rest of the stuff. like a army green like olive green and the black so let's get this one open stand which I have to build this I believe this is the metal brace it goes in between the on the table I think it's pretty heavy and then the table right and the mach 
machine. And that is the dolly because that is heavy. If you're by yourself, you cannot do this by yourself. This thing is heavy. Whew, it was a workout. Bring it in the house. It was a crate. Uh, crate's about 600 or something pounds. I don't know. Felt like more, but uh, uh, drivers were cool about it. They helped bring it up to the doorstep because I wasn't done clearing out where it was going to go. So I just had them there to bring it out to the doorstep and I was going to break it out later. I left it out in the doorstep for a good while. The driver was cool with it. He put it out in the front. I know they're not supposed to do that. Uh, we give them props for doing that because they were helpful to bring it up there. And yeah, just put it to the front doorstep because I know they're supposed to leave it out in the driveway if they really wanted to. And yeah, got it in the house. And let me go through this for you guys. All right. So got the MT-2001 on the stand, which was not a easy task. And I, I haven't threaded, I haven't put the threads in the needles yet. And I already put all threads through I haven't yanked them down yet like I haven't pulled them down yet I just put them on there I had to grab some of my stock of thread because it came with these little ones which are tiny you can see my hands compared to these these are way tiny and it only came with 15 so I'm not sure whoever buys this the MT2001 if they're gonna get like the full 20, but uh, I mean, at least it came with 15, right? I added the fruit colors, which was these, and purple, it was like a plum, the green apple, and it was a citrus, something yellow. So, yeah, this is the update. I'm still working, setting it up. I've been, doing, I've been busy doing other things, and I still gotta add the brackets for the uh, other accessories. I still gotta take out the hoop thing and yep, pretty much showing the status right now. I'm gonna keep going on and just got the table up there. Pretty sure everybody that has got the MT series there know what it the weight is it's, it's no joke i mean it's a commercial unit so expect heavy duty definitely it's solid steel <laughs> it ain't no joke but all right guys i'll come back with it again all right guys here's the status of the mt 2001 Got the hoop mount on already. Now, talking about the hoop mount, let me show you guys something. So, as I was removing this mount, the bracket for the cap, cap hoop, sorry. As you guys see, this is a Phillips screw, which bracket that uses the Phillips and I don't know who mounted this they tightened that thing I don't know they used an air ratchet or what they used they tightened that sucker tight and it was stripping I was trying to I ended up using my own tools because this thing wouldn't even budge it was literally just not budging at all on both ends it was you guys noticed that that bite one you use this right here 
the thing was not biting. It was, I was forcing, I, I don't know, but eventually I'm going to end up finding out, um, a bolt that's a hex, like the one they use for the rest of the accessories to mount this, because the Phillips is not going to work out for, her, for me at least, if I'm going to be swapping back and forth a lot. I mean, maybe it's just this one, you know? I know you can't have it that loose either because it has to be mounted pretty tight, right? Yes, yeah, so if you guys could switch, or I mean, I'm gonna end up buying a, or finding a bolt, a hex bolt that is uh, similar for the ones that it comes with for the other mounts, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Other than that, let me show you guys. Yeah, just going through it, I mean, everything's we're very well done this number nine thread seems to be the tightest of them all I don't know why I'm gonna go through it maybe that was the last needle they used and it's who knows I don't know uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run it later after they do the whole little video zoom call and other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and continue knocking this out. And I think that was it. Just gotta set up the rest and there's a stand. But yeah, everything's heavy duty. I ended up leaving these um, table bolts on here because I don't wanna lose them in the time I gotta use the table to get these going. I'll just slap them on when I gotta use it. But for now, I don't have to use it, so. All right, yeah, but everything pretty much solid. So, it's been a year, you could say, in December of 2022. Uh, on the 30, 31st? Literally, I got a special delivery right before, on, Christmas, on New Year's Eve. And it will literally be a year in a couple weeks so I will be going over my experience with it we say a year on uh, the MT21 and my pros and cons and what I like about the machine and everything so and how I like it you know it's a learning curve so stay tuned guys i will be uploading weekly that's for sure so it'll be a bunch of random stuff so hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned this is going to be something new you guys will be seeing this channel and it'll be fun you guys will enjoy like I said doing random stuff and hope um, you guys give this a thumbs up and stay tuned you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe it will be seven years of good luck for you guys for 2024 right all right guys stay tuned hope you enjoy or I should say I hope you enjoyed the unboxing that I did and what will be coming next all right guys thank you for watching and stay tuned